Hey guys, Miss Raymond here today to talk to you about stem and leaf plots. All right, so stem and leaf plots are helpful when you need to organize data that spends a large range or data that needs to be organized by place value. So we're gonna watch the Steady Jams step-by-step -step video um, and also complete the test yourself questions to learn about stem and leaf plots. Zoe is having a party at the end of March, and she wants to see how the weather's shaping up. She's a very visual gal, so I thought a stem and leaf plot would be a slam dunk way for her to graph it out. Let me show you how it's done, step by step. First, make a list of the temperatures in order from least to greatest. In 15 days, the temperature has swung from the 40s to the 80s. Next, find the stems. The stems are the digits in the tens place of each number. See how each number has two digits? The first one, the tens digit, that's the stem. Even if more than one number has the same stem, only include a stem once. Put the stems in a column. Write the stems on the left side of the vertical line. Line. We've got four stems of temperatures, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, and the 80s. When you're listing out the stems, you've got to go in order. Even though there were no days in the 70s, it should still be included in the chart. Next, list the leaves next to the correct stem in order from least to greatest. Don't forget to list every leaf, even if a number repeats. Write out each leaf next to its stem, left to right, smallest first. The 40 stem only has one leaf. That's good news. Don't forget to add an eye-catching title. Temperatures for the first half of March. Now Zoe can see right away that there were more days in the 60s than any other temperature. Looks like Zoe may end up having a nice spring day for her party. Be careful when you try to use a stem and leaf plot for three-digit numbers or higher. To do it right, list only the last digit, the number in the ones place, as your leaves. List all the other digits under stem. How many numbers are on this stem and leaf plot? All right, so I want you guys to give this one a try. So here is your stem, two, three, four, and five. Remember that's the tens place, that's the number in the tens place. And then your leaf are gonna be over here. So for example, in this first one, so stem two, leaf two means 22. That means the number 22, right? So in order to know how many numbers are shown in the stem and leaf plot, you just need to count the leaves, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? That's a slam dunk. There are 14 leaves. And when each leaf gets paired up with its correct stem, that makes 14 numbers. All right, here's another one to try. What's the first number listed on this stem and leaf plot? All right, see if you can figure out the answer and choose what you think is right, and then we'll check and see. Remember, here's your stem, here's your leaf. Together, that makes your number, right? So two and two would make what? 22, right? Nothing but net. 22 is the correct answer because the first stem is two and the first leaf is two. Put them together and you get 22. All right, now we are gonna try the test yourself questions. Um, so if you don't have paper and pencil, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and get that. There are seven questions and I want you to try um, to see if you can get the answers and write them down and then we're going to go over them. All right, so question one. What is the smallest value represented in the stem and leaf plot? So remember, 
the stem is in is your tens place okay that represents your tens place right so this right this is your tens remember and over here right that number is going to represent your ones okay all right so what is the smallest value represented in the stem leaf plots? And remember, you have to put them together, three and four, to get your number, all right? All right, you choose what you think is the best answer, and then we're going to move on, and we'll go back and check. All right, question number two. What is the largest value represented in the stem and leaf plot? So remember, they go from your smallest or your least number, right, starting out here, and to your greatest number, right? All right, so you choose what you think is the best answer. And just as a reminder, remember this is your tens, and this number represents your ones. So this and this together should represent your largest value. Okay. All right. Question number three, what place, which place value is never represented in the stem column of a stem and leaf plot? Is it the tens, the hundreds, thousands, or ones? Which one is never represented in the stem and leaf plot? See if you can come up with the answer, okay? All right, moving on. Question number four, which stem and leaf plot correct, correctly shows this set of numbers? So your set of numbers is 63, 67, 72, 93, and 92. All right, so which one shows the correct number? So remember, you gotta make sure this is your tens and this is your ones. You need to make sure that all these numbers are represented on the, on the stem and leaf plot. They need to be in the correct order from least to greatest, okay? And remember, even if there's not a number with an eight in the tens place, in other words, there's no 80s, you still have to include the eight on your stem and leaf plot. That might give you a little bit of a hint. All right, moving on. All right, question five. How many numbers in the stem and leaf plot have a three in the tens place? Remember, the stem is your tens place. So you wanna find three, and then you're gonna count how many numbers there are by counting the leaves over here, right? All right, see if you can get the right answer. All right, question number six. The stem and leaf plot shows the grades students received on a math quiz. How many students scored at least 92%? So you're gonna to need to come down to your stem and find your nine, because that represents your nine, right? In the tens place, so all your 90s. Right, so you need to find how many students scored at least 92. So that means it would include 92, right? Let's see if you can come up with the right answer. Okay, and question number seven. This stem and leaf plot shows high temperatures in September. On how many days was it at least 65 degrees? So here is daily high temperature in September. So you need to go again under stem to find six, and you need to come over and find, um, starting with five, right? Because it, it says at least 65, and you're gonna wanna count. All right, so at least 65. All 
All right, let's see. All right, let's go over our answer. So what is the smallest value represented in the stem and leaf plot? All right, it should be 34, okay? There's a three in the sim column and a four in the leaf column, right? So 33 and four make 34. All right, question number two. What is the largest value represented in the stem and leaf plot? <clears throat> that would be 98. All right, here's 9, 8, so 98. Okay, question number three. Which place value is never represented in the stem leaf, sim column of a sim and leaf plot? And that would be your ones place because the number of the ones are always going to go in the leaf column, not the stem column. All right, question four. Which stem and leaf plot correctly shows a set of numbers? 63, 67, 72, 93, and 92. And that would be the third one. All the stems in the range must be shown even if it is not in the set. There's no number that has an eight in the tens place, so there should be no numbers in the leaf column next to the eight, so that is blank. And you've got 63, 67, 72, 92, and 93. All right, question five. How many numbers in the sim and leaf plot have a three in the tens place? So here's your three, <clears throat> okay? So you need to count how many leaves there are. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. So that'd be 32, 33, 34, 37, and 38. So that would be five numbers. Question six, and I accidentally clicked on the wrong one. It said, how many students scored at least 92%? So one, two, three, four, five, and let's see. I only see. Five. Let's see. Six students had scores of 92% above. 92, 94, 96, 80, 98, 99, and 100. Ah, I got tripped up. I forgot about our 100 down here at the bottom. See, that is a very common mistake that you make. So you've got 90, said at least 92. So you got 92, 94, 96, 98, 99, and don't forget about 100 at the bottom, which I obviously forgot about. So the answer would be six. And for question number seven, the Simon leaf plot shows high temperatures in September and how many days was it at least 65 degrees? Again, it should be four, not three. So again, when you're looking at your stem and leaf plot, this is a very common mistake. Okay, so it says at least 65. So here's your 60s. So you count 65, 68, 68, and 72. So that would be four, right? So the correct answer would be four. All right. Hopefully you learned something about sim and leaf plots today, and you should have some written work to practice this as well. That is all I have for today. So stay safe and stay healthy.